Here's how I replaced Xfinity's, also known as Comcast's, rental modem slash router with a Netgear's modem router combo. My modem rental is $14 a month in 13 and a half months. My Netgear cable modem router, AC1900, also known as C7000V2, will pay for itself. Begin by unplugging the power from the Xfinity modem, then disconnect the coaxial cable. Record or take pictures of the default access info, network name, and password. Connect the coaxial cable to the new modem, then power it up. If they're powering up the new modem, look for the network name that was printed on the new modem. The Netgear C7000V2 is dual band, so there are two networks. Pick any one of the networks and sign in with the default Wi-Fi password that was also printed on the new modem. After logging into the Wi-Fi network, this screen popped up. Xfinity could change this in the future. Feel free to comment if you experience something different. I'm not using a phone, so I don't want to download an app. I clicked on the link at the bottom of the screen for a Wi-Fi ready apartment pre-installed gateway. After signing in with my Xfinity password, a screen popped up to verify my home address. The next screen warned me not to unplug my gateway. The gateway's another name for your modem slash router. The last screen said that within 10 minutes I'd be able to connect to the internet. There was never any confirmation that it was finished doing its thing. So after 20 minutes, I tried to connect to the internet and I was successful. After you're satisfied that your new modem router is working properly, return Xfinity's rental modem router and make sure you get a receipt. I hope you found this video helpful. A thumbs up is always appreciated. Click on the channel name and know how now to find other videos. And thanks for watching.